Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. She's actually sitting in on a Halo TV show video. Right, because I'm I'm here to lend support and credibility. Uh, yeah, we're gonna talk about some concerns people have about Halo. There are lots of concerns, uh, but this article got sent to me by Great Loner, uh, tagged me in on this article. And uh, apparently the rumor and I, I believe it to be true, given its current year. The rumor is Master Chief is going to take a back seat and a, a young female is going to rise through the ranks, become a Spartan, and she's going to be the uh, the lead the character. The bigger, better. The bigger, better Spartan. More talented Spartan. Absolutely. Wow, it's almost like it's 2016 all over again. Because uh, the future is female. Haven't right? they tried this with like every franchise ever? Every franchise. And Halo's a pretty masculine franchise, of course. Master Chief has to take a back seat in his own show. Of course he does. And of course, if you don't like it, it's because you're an isophobic loser, you know, some kind of, you know, male dominated patriarchal asshole doesn't like strong female leads. Yeah. So, I mean, we saw some indications of this in the trailer. I mean, I, I've said before, I'm still kind of on the fence about it. Uh, if you don't have any expectations, it might be okay. Um, but uh, it definitely is going to deviate from, from Halo lore and, and so much in fact that they've already preemptively told fans this is a separate timeline. <laughs> this is the silver timeline where everybody's using current year vehicles and weapons even though it's you know, like the 26th century. So this is like the Leslie Headland show. The yeah, Adelaide. pretty much. It's going to be an alternate timeline yeah. so that when you get asked mad about it, which people are probably going to be but for good reason, um, it's going to be because, well, we could just make it go away because it's not the actual one. It's just an offshoot. We only pay attention to it, though. Yeah, and we've already had the showrunners quit uh, preemptively. I wonder why. <laughs> uh, one of them said to spend more time with his family. His kids are teenagers. I, I, I get that. I get that being parents ourselves. But the other one was just kind of like just moving on. Yeah, creative differences. Creative differences, right? Uh, and this is after the backlash over Cortana looking like a soccer mom. Um, Not anything wrong with soccer moms. No, soccer moms. I are used to awesome. be a soccer mom once. I was a soccer dad. That so was like lasted like a year. Yeah, Squid King wasn't really into it. Usually he wound up. Um, he would get bored, so he would just like sit in the field and and pick grass. He was little. When we say soccer, he were talking like you know. Preschool, preschool. <laughs> kindergarten. So, yeah, he was just it wasn't like, like he was like 18 and sitting out there picking flowers. No. No, no, no. no he just, he happened. just, he just was not into it. But man, some of the parents. Oh my God. Some of the like, parents. These are, were, they're, they're, they're four. They're, you know? They were horrible. Uh, I was like, yeah, you know, he, he decided he wasn't interested. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to fight you on this. I'm yeah. not fighting you on this. We're, we're done. Anyway, before we get into it any further, Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 256,000 subs. Woohoo! Uh, thank you so much for the support. We've been talking more about video game news lately because there's all these uh, acquisitions and sales and stupid decisions being made. Mm -hmm. I'm more about kicking balls than soccer balls anyway, so. Well, I think they're going to kick Master Chief in the balls. Oh, that's, um, yeah, I'm sure they show. are. I mean, honestly, I have zero, I, I'm not a Halo person. I mean, I'm just going to say it straight up. So You're it does a devil it, person. It does it. I'm not going to be watching the show either way. But I totally understand where people are coming from because, of course, they did. Because what else? It's Hollywood. I told you the only diversity uh, measurements in Hollywood right now is women and lesbians. Well, I think we're going to get both in this show, and I think they're going to be better than the Master Chief. So, Probably. It's going to be the, the ray of yeah. Halo. Now, um... Disclaimer, this is coming from poptopic.com. This is a rumor, but I think it's a pretty educated guess based on what was in the trailer. And uh, yeah, the character I thought was kind of weird because I'm like, they kept showing this this uh, girl here, uh, Quan, Quan Ah, I guess her name is. I'm like, I, I don't recognize her from the games. It's because she wasn't, she wasn't in the games, to the best of my knowledge. Uh, she was not in the games. I had to check because I only played Halo through the fourth one and then I kind of noped out. I don't play it at all, so I wouldn't know any different. So I thought, well, maybe she's like in the comics or maybe she's... No, 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 no. She's she's developed specifically for this show. And the reason being... <laughs> they they made, sure, made sure she's Asian descent too and everything else because, yeah. The reason being is that, uh, you know, the word on the street is Master Chief is going to get kicked in the balls and he's going to take a back seat. Again, uh, rumor. Again, rumor. But, but it fits... It completely plausible, given this is on Paramount Plus, uh, which also has Star Trek Discovery. But don't they have female Spartans? Yeah. I was going to say, they can't use the whole, the suit would be great when it fits a woman, because it already does. Yeah. 
Um, well, now it's going to fit more women. More women can fit inside the suit. I used to, I used to tease. Um, you, what do you call it? You don't call it Romstein. You call Romstein. it Romstein. I used to Romstein. tease him all the time. Master Chief was a woman and it was wearing pumps and he used to get so mad at me. <laughs> well, that could happen. We <laughs> See, were. I was right. I was right, Romstein. I was right. Master Chief takes backseat to female cast in Halo live action 2022. Shouldn't call him that. He gets mad. Uh, coming from Diane. Diane is saying Master Chief is taking a backseat. Master Chief will reportedly only be a supporting character in Halo live action with Australian newcomer uh, Heron Ya to play a lead. Paramount Plus revealed the teaser trailer. Oh, Paramount Plus explains everything. Yep. And it looks like the show is getting the Star Wars reboot makeover with a cast of powerful women, female protagonist and villain. So what will Master Chief's role be? Bitch? No. There sounds like there already is a bitch. Master Chief will be Master Bitch. Uh, you may have noticed that Master Chief has a small role in the Halo live-action teaser trailer. That's because he's reportedly just a supporting character. Right, because when you want to watch a Halo show, you want to watch a show about a completely unknown female lead that you've never heard of before. Yep. Uh, Steven Spielberg's Halo live-action series looks Steven awesome. Spielberg? Okay, God, this explains everything. Okay, we got pa Paramount Plus and Steven... Um, I don't know why anybody expected anything differently. Yeah, yeah, I... I God, okay. Um, anyway, when it comes to visual effects, they did a phenomenal job. Well, you know, yeah, except for the uh, current year vehicles and, and uh, uh, weapons, as pointed out by Halo fans. Uh, some fans are concerned the writers got a, a, a bit too creative. Well, it sounds like they might have. Well, they flat out said this is going to be a separate timeline. They're going to do it their way. Because that always works out so All well. the red flags. <laughs> all the red flags are there. Master Chief does not appear to be in the main protagonist. Instead, it's uh, Quan Ah, played by Australia's very own up-and-coming talent. What, but that's Ha. But that's how they wrote, word it. A minority space orphan. A minority space orphan. She's a shrewd, audacious 16-year-old from the outer colonies. So she's going to be better, faster, sharper. Oh, God. She's 16, even she's... though she has no reason to have all this experience, but somehow she's going to be better. Shut up, Wesley. Yeah, pretty much. Shut up, Quan. She's a bit of a space <laughs> scavenger. It's and, and, and Incredible power inside of her, which she will slowly discover throughout the it's series. Ray. Sound familiar? Oh, that worked out so shit. great for Disney. Sources close to the production revealed us that Master Chief will serve as her supporting character. And that Quan Ah, the, the kick 16-year-old warrior girl, will be the main protagonist. Producers also promise a very diverse cast of characters played from people from all walks of life. However, slightly more female than fans might have expected. Well, because that's all that the diversity is in Hollywood. Uh, not only is the main protagonist a 16-year-old Asian girl, but two of the three Spartans are also described to be kick-ass female but soldiers. there were female Spartans. Yes, there were. But now there are more. And now they've got pink hair, too. A pink-haired female Spartan. Kai125. Okay. Pink hair, baby. Shaved head. Oh, my God. The producers decided to take it one step further and kick the so-called patriarchy in the balls. We were joking by having a Maki, Maki, a female antagonist, reportedly easily defeat Master Chief in a battle. Be up to Quan Ah to save Master Chief's life and defeat Maki, Maki and save the world. Little is known about the powerful new Halo live-action female antagonist villain known as Maki Maki, apart from the fact that she's played by Charlie Murphy from Peaky Blinders. Uh, Steven Spielberg's Halo is going to get dumped on the Paramount Plus on March 24th. Uh, oh. People already jumping ship. Oh, my. The Halo is crashing. <laughs> and this is what you're worried about now. This is all you're worried about is Cortana is not blue. And not sexy enough, I think it's going to get a whole lot worse. Uh -huh. Why well, did they do this? Why the fuck did they keep doing I, this? Because they're, th they're too lazy to come up with something new. We can have a new show with a female lead, but that's too hard. So instead, we're going to take some other property that people are waiting for, and we're going to use that as a vehicle to shove the agenda down your throat. We saw it with She-Ra. We saw it with Star Wars. We've seen it with Star Trek. We've seen it with Terminator. We've seen it, and the list goes on and on. And, and it never ends well, but they insist on doubling down on it. I think the market is going to self-correct. Um, I think we're already kind of seeing that. I think what's going to happen is Paramount Plus, which is not doing well. It's not doing very well. 
I think eventually they're going to have to pivot to making content. They got these great licenses and they keep flushing the shit down the toilet. Well, I'd say it's probably because they're it's too expensive to do Master Chief no. all the time, but they have all the other Spartans in there. Yeah. That's so that's not, not what it is. About. I mean, of course, again, it's all rumor. It's a guy in a suit. They did a freaking RoboCop TV show. They can do they can do Halo. Mm-hmm. It's again, it's rumor. It might turn out to be <laughs> not true. I, I think But it given is. it's Paramount Plus. Given it's Steven Spielberg, and given the other stuff that we're hearing around it, it's most, it's probably true. Yeah. I mean, they created this character just for this show. And I thought maybe I was at a loop, because like I said, I, I, I stopped with uh, 4. I used to play with Squid King, and then he started playing on his own. And then after 4, I was kind of like, eh, eh, I don't really care. Uh, I thought, well, maybe she's a newer character. No, no, they made her just for this show. <laughs> she's that, basically Ray. Yeah, she is a Mary Sue. Uh, yeah. Yeah, good good luck with that. I know what the Halo fandom is like. Good luck with that. You're mm-hmm. gonna need it. You're absolutely gonna no, need it. No, they'll just start screaming at everybody and telling them they're bad people. But that doesn't work anymore. People doesn't don't listen to that anymore. bullshit anymore. They're like, no, fuck that. Sorry, mom. It's not true. I'm not letting you tell me I'm a bad person if I think your shit show is, is shit. I'm, I'm so tired of it. I, we're gonna make all these changes for no reason other than for agenda. Not, I mean, not do a good show and then tell the fans they're terrible people they don't like it. No. Yeah. If it turns out that this is, this is true, and it turns out the characters, you know, it's ham, very ham-fisted, because you can still have these changes and it still could be a good show if it's yeah. done right. But it doesn't sound like it's going to be. But if it was done right, it still could work. But then it, when it doesn't, they're going to turn around and blame it on misogyny. And we know there'll be a bunch of women who don't like it either. A bit bl- blamed on racism, even though a bunch of people that aren't white will, will not like it. And everything else be the same old, same old. And it's like, would you just stop with these franchises already? Make something new for it for these sakes. Anyway, I think we're gonna I think we're gonna wrap this up. Uh-huh. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.